Hey, Matt Holmes here from V8 Video Academy with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Now sometimes, if you've been working on a project in Premiere and you come back to it a few days later, you might find that some of your graphics, your audio files or even your video clips have become unlinked. Now this could happen for a number of reasons, but in your timeline you'll see a graphic like this. So in today's video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to relink your media in Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we go. So inside Premiere I've got my video clip on my timeline and it plays as it should. Now what you've got to remember about Premiere and other editing softwares is that your video clips, your audio files, your music files, anything you bring into the project is not stored within the Adobe Premiere project file. Instead, Adobe Premiere is reading the files from wherever they're stored on your computer. So if you were to change the name of the file or change where it's stored on your computer, Adobe Premiere is going to ask you to relink the file, which is going to look something like this. It's going to tell you that the media is offline. So how do we relink the media? Well, if you go over to your project window over on the left here, and you'll see that the clip that we've got in our timeline has now got a question mark icon down the left here. So what we need to do is right click on the clip and press link media. And Premiere will bring up where it thinks the video clip is located. So we just need to click on the locate button in the bottom right here. And we now just need to choose where it's stored on our computer. Now by default, Premiere will automatically select this option here, display only exact name matches, meaning that it won't show any clips that don't match the file name exactly. If we untick that, we can see that we've got other clips in this folder, but none of them actually match the one we're looking for. So if I tick that box again, they're all going to disappear. So if I go to the folder where this clip actually is stored, which is this one here, you can see that it now pops up. So all we need to do is select that and press OK. And there we go, it's back in our timeline. And that's how you relink footage in Premiere Pro. I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And if you did, hit those like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to become a better video creator, head on over to v8videoacademy.com where I've got tons of resources, tutorials and guides. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.